So here we are at the Island Farm Weir on May 8th, 2015, the tail end of the migration season. And these gentlemen are lining up and trying to hook alewife, blueback herring, and possibly shad for tagging to assess the efficiency of the Island Farm Fish Lab. Right. My name is Orion Walden. I am the uh, project leader for the shad and river herring project here on the Raritan River. And, uh, we're about to tag uh, a river herring. I have yet to identify whether it's a blueback herring or an alewife, uh, but uh, this kind of this step is is the most pivotal step in the entire project. This is where we actually tag the fish with the passive integrative transponder chip. It's a it's a little chip encased in glass, and uh, when it passes through a magnetic field, the little copper coils that you may be able to see here actually receive a charge from that magnetic field and it's just enough energy to allow this computer chip to sound off its individual identification number and it's that identification number that uh, keeps track of the movements of this entire fish through the fish ladder that you see behind me the entrance of that fish ladder is right there on the river left side of the island farm weir dam It turns out that this is a, we get a lot of great data from these fish because tagging them here, we know that they have already made it all the way to the island farm weir dam. So a lot of our equipment is supplied by Oregon RFID and this is a, an individual handheld reader. This little loop, this little curve in the reader is actually an antenna in itself. I want to make sure this is not one of our herring from a previous year. So I'm scanning it. We didn't hear anything. That means there's no tag in there already. Uh, just like our bodies, our internal organs are asymmetrical. The internal organs of a fish are also asymmetrical. So fewer of the vital organs are on the left-hand side of the fish than on the right-hand side. So I'm tagging the left-hand side of the fish uh, posteriorly to the ventral fins. So I am removing scales because we don't want to get the scales inside the abdomen. And I am making a small, and I'm constantly wetting the gills. And I am making a small incision here. It may bleed a little bit. But we've done studies to show that this little wound heals pretty quickly. And we've actually had no mortality in our studies. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but we have not recorded it. Now I read the tag. You're probably not going to see it on that screen, but uh, I have the tag number here. 18117-7694. That's his new name. The fish will definitely not last as long as the chip. So one of the things that we have, uh, it's kind of an, an opportunity for us to study is also the uh, population dynamics and age structure of the river herring and the shad in the Raritan River. And we can do that by trying to find the individual ages of these fish. The best way to do that is with the otolith, but that requires killing the fish. The second best way is through the uh, rings on the scales along the lateral line that have been growing since this fish was born. So I've, I've tagged the fish, I've collected the scales, and now I'm going to get a link. Two hundred and sixty-four millimeters. That's all the information I need. We've got it all. Time to let the fish go. That's it. Excellent.